Hey, welcome to Brainboard. Um, in this quick video, we're going to see how you can import um, any existing Azure infrastructure into Brainboard, generate the design, generate the Terraform code, and also generate the Terraform state. So before we start, just here, I'm going to import this um, resource group from Azure. It contains a virtual machine, keyboard, network interface, and disks with a VNet and subnet, so all of it. And I will show you how it works uh, now into Brainboard. So first, I'm going to initiate import and say, OK, I import from the cloud provider. And I select the subscription that I want to import. I call it here Brainboard import. And now the first step, now Brainboard will scan my subscription and give me all the resource groups that I'm allowed to import. So let's check this one. Brainboard, I can import all of them. You can select all the resource groups or uh, target specific one. So let's take this one here. And now uh, I initiated the import. So I can open it here. And now Brainboard will scan in real time uh, my, the Azure portal and my subscription and try to bring all the resources uh, it finds. This operation may take a few minutes or a few hours. It depends on the number of resources um, that you have into in the subscription you want to import. So let it, uh, let it import for a few minutes and see how it works once it brings all the resources from Azure. All right, we see that Brainboard starts, uh, already started bringing a few resources. All right, I have them all. This is exactly what I had. Um, in my Azure, so let's verify. I have, this is the resource group, this is managed disk, network interface, virtual machine, key vault, secret. And yeah, I put two secrets, the network interfaces, and the subnet. So I'm select all of it. And now, let the magic happen. So Brainboard, thought it was super quick. Uh, so generated the design for my, um, for my, infrastructure and generated the Terraform code for me that you can inspect. So I can see here, like for example, if I take this VNet, this is its configuration. Uh, this is the subnet. This is the key vault with the two secrets. Uh, here is the information of the key vault. Um, this is for the disk and for the virtual machine. Here, all the information of the virtual machine. I can see it here, which, which um, virtual machine is used and uh, which um, yeah operating system is used and which network interface and everything is there. And uh, and now the most important thing, like once the import is done, is that I do the plan and the plan should tell me that only uh, there is no changes happen to my infrastructure. So here I go to the one action and I'm going to do the plan and see what happens. So when I do the plan, uh, Brainboard creates an execution environment on the fly, um, converts this graphics into a Terraform code uh, that has been generated, and now will execute the action and gives me the output in real time. So here, once uh, yeah, it has been picked by, with one of our runners, and every command that we do, we show you what we are, what we are doing. We are doing Terraform init, then a Terraform plan, and now Brainboard uh, will as it, you, it generates the Terraform state, we'll see what it reports. All right, so here is the refresh in the state. And you can see no changes. Your infrastructure matches the configuration. And this is massive. You can import, I mean, you can move into infrastructure as code with no time. And uh, you just uh, trigger the import, get the infrastructure, inspect the code, and uh, check if the Terraform state is matches exactly what you have into Azure. So um, I hope this is useful and gives you an idea of how the import works and how the amount of time it will save you to move into infrastructure as code and uh, start standardizing the way you build infrastructure. And uh, for any uh, questions, you can ping me or ping uh, the team at Brainboard. We'll be happy to help. Thank you.